What if I told you when it comes to learning fighting games, you doing yourself a disservice not learning or playing multiple characters? Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is kind of like the opposite of Super Smash Bros. The game on its surface is easy to play but hard to master. And I think what's beautiful about these games is that they have a lot of characters. The more characters you play in fighting games, the faster you familiarize yourself with the character's kit and what the roster can do in total. Now that I think about it, I think that's what always makes Smash Bros addict in every new installment. Every character is pick up and play ready, but at the same time, when you want to take it to the next level, even being a high level casual that goes to compete here and there, or even being a person that goes to compete once every year. You tend to be able to deal with games BS or things you just ain't never seen faster than you ever can do. And I honestly think the way Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising is, this is the perfect time for you to not only get better at understanding matchups in this game, but matchups overall whenever you want to play a new fighting game. What to look out for, what things may be good as a secondary, we gonna talk about all that today. And then I thought to myself, dang, I usually have a secondary in the fighting game. You're probably like, Yaya, why are you talking about secondaries all of a sudden? So usually I have my main character, which right now is Catalina. I love Catalina's kit, her tool set and everything, but I feel like she kinda honest in this game compared to every other character. I don't think she's bad, don't take that out of context. I just think there's a lot of other characters that have something that lean very strong in their favor and I wanna explore that with this game. Then I realized, hmm, Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising Free to play edition gives you four characters every weekly rotation or so. You always have green and three other characters that rotate. So I think over the course of the next couple months, I'm going to always check out the free rotate characters because that's going to dictate the free to play meta for the game and then see how I feel about them to play in this game. Today, I'll be looking at Vera. You've probably been seeing Vera a lot for the past few weeks because she has been free. I'm not gonna lie to you, Vera is very appealing to me in various ways in Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising. Hear me out. I am on the PC version of Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising right now. And I think what's really good about Vera overall from a beginner's perspective is grabbing somebody in this game is very easy to get off in this game. To be honest with you, you could argue and say it's probably one of the easiest things to deal with in this game, essentially well. Teching can be done with light, medium, or heavy. I think even unique in some cases. I could be wrong about that. What makes Vera very appealing compared to the rest of the cast is that she does have a command grab. And you can't tech a command grab, right? So that's free grab damage. And she gets to go and tell her, Dragon and Joel. I just wanted to say that. I, I just wanted to say that. My favorite thing about Vera is that she has some of the best air movement in the game, in my honest opinion right now, besides maybe Grimnir. But her being able to just go full screen and then go for an overhead or hitting you above is really dope. I think that's very appealing even from a gameplay style. For a very grounded oriented game, Vera does have this shit on lock. <laughs> so we got to talk about Twitter's ultimate hating move. We get it. Neutral skills. I'm tired of hearing about that. If y'all would like to see that video, please make sure I hit the like button and subscribe because I'm probably going to cook some people on it. I'm, I'm probably going to cook the FGC. We got to talk about Vera 66L. While I really like HUDs over Catalina, depending on where you space it, you can get a full medium auto combo into a lot here. You know, that's that's pretty decent off of one diamond, but you could do probably more. Another thing I really like about Vera's 2 it. Another thing I really like about Vera is just for beating Raging Strike from a beginner's perspective, I know her 2 L goes way further than Catalina's. It's visually more easier to just look at and it looks like it, it hits further. I could be 100% wrong, hitbox could probably be the same as Catalina's by the way. But her having this ability to do this <laughs> and just stuff people out, it's pretty good. Oh, let me get started on her ultimate skills. I like characters that let me combo off of these stupid things. Personally, I feel like I'm just at home with Catalina. So with Vera's five unique ultimate skill, I can literally do this, get a dash, and then still combo people, right? It is crazy. I fucking love it. <laughs> I love it. So I think I'm gonna take her to online, just off it is, and give y'all my evaluation of the character because this character is everywhere. Everybody is playing this character. So let's see, is she worth your time, worth your money, and we gonna go straight into online. Hit the like button again, and let's go. 
I really like this purple color. I don't know. It's something about it. The green one is the other one I like. Something I really love about fighting games now, I think it's a big hit or miss for me if a game don't have character specific ranks. Because I know I got S rank with one character or max rank with another character. I want to get S rank. Different characters, different mindsets. Different pool of the way you play the game. I think that's important for learning. That's why even though Smash GSP system suck, um, I think it's really good in its own right that you still had character specific levels. You had something to work towards for regardless. And this is just a way better version of that. Come here and grab. Look, one. I'm gonna fly up. Psych, he thought I was gonna fly up. Ooh, this shit lagging. Jump unique. Nope. Jump unique. Oh, he, he counter hit me? <gasps> oh, he almost got me. I almost let go of block. Stop it. He love, he know how to counter hit that one move. Okay, see. That already feels better right there. It's to you. Yeah, that <laughs> it already feels so much better there with the two <laughs> the two light and catalita. I feel like I can rely on it a little bit more. Poke. He's gonna get up. Poke, poke. Nope. Get up. Poke, poke. Sometimes I'm gonna just wait my turn on that string. Let's see if he do it again. Oh, oh, that hurt. See, see how easy to tech that? He ain't taking this one though. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm not teching in this house. I'm gonna jump. Ray of punishment. Get that KO, baby. He didn't die from that. Weed. Ooh. He, he better not jump. DP punish. Yes, sir. See, see, we cooking with him. We cooking with him all that. Is he gonna run it back or no? Yeah, he ran it back. He ran it back. Nope, back off. Uh huh, stay in the corner. Uh huh, back off. Woohoo! Back off. Hey, keep thinking I'm gonna jump, dude. <laughs> okay, well, this is what I'm gonna do. Ray of punishment! He poked me. I think it rolled back, but I got him. Clean hit. Yes, sir. Stop it. We're gonna go low. Go low again. Ooh, Rage Strike. Ooh, and they put him in the corner, so he had to either block that or either completely jump. <laughs> Because he was going to get chipped out either way. All right, we're going to go for strike. Come in, grab. Yep. Uh-huh. Put him in the corner. Jump up. Nope. That's so cheap because if it would have hit. Ooh, he got tired. He's like, DP, baby. He got tired of getting put in the corner. He had to hold that. He had to hold it. Now, y'all probably like, y'all, y'all, you already got S rank. Why you bullying these C rank players? Well, I'm not trying to. I literally haven't played Vera since the first beta. So, mind you, before y'all get mad in the comments, but I'm trying to learn the process of doing this. It's, I'm trying to find two characters I really like playing, and I really just like Catalina. The other two options, I, I'll spoil it for you guys right now. It's most likely Vera, Matera. Siegfried. Um, <clears throat> I have some other character ideas floating around in my head, and I'll tell y'all, I'll spoil it right now. Don't worry, I got y'all backs. Um, it's Siegfried, it's Matera, it's Fairy. Um, obviously, when 2B comes out, 2B might take over Catalina. So, and we on the green screen stage. You know what? I'm gonna put something in the background. I forgot I put this bot. <laughs> You know what? We finna fight in a Waffle House parking lot. I want my bacon, egg, and cheese. It's six o'clock in the morning anyway. Green screen, Vera stage. This is a, this is gonna be funny as fuck. Okay, my shirt's green too, but it, it, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look ugly, bro. Pokies. Uh. Uh, uh. Okay. Oh my god, my stick's doing that thing. Better believe. All right, there we go. A troll of that. He probably was like, damn, what the fuck? Haha! But now I shall click you! Thank you for your four patrons! <laughs> okay. He tried to raise his strength! I got hit. Psych! Poke! Alright, alright, we cool, we cool, we back, we back, we back. Back like I never left! Back like I never left! Ooh, okay. Ugh. DP? Damn, I forgot there's a follow-up after that. Okay, I'm gonna go low. 
Damn, that rising DP was crazy. Oh, now you're gonna hit me with the command grab. Look at that, look at the 6 6 L. Oh, my turn. Oh, you better hit me. I ain't scared of that shit. Oh, shit. I don't know what that does. Oh, my God. I'm in deficit. He's gonna jump. No, he's not. He's not gonna jump. He better not jump. Damn, I'm getting 6 6 L. I'm in the corner. Oh, combo video? He hit a button. I, I believe in my soul. He hit a button. Let's go. And he got two diamonds. He about this about to hurt. Yeah. Pierce the heavens, beach. Man, grab. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, baby. Yes, sir, baby. Yeah. So, my thoughts on Vera. I really like Vera a lot. She has a lot of good tools. A lot of mix-up options. That are really cool to just trick the opponent up really well. If that's the type of character for you... That's the character you should play. <laughs> I also like the idea that she has it installed. So she might be a secondary. Okay. The whole point in the video was that I wanted to talk about playing with the Tempura Unlockable with Vera. Okay. She has a fucking shrimp as a fucking sword. Like, anyway, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below for what other videos or games or content you want to see. What characters are you currently maining in Grand Blue Fantasy versus, and what rank are you? Let me know. I want to know what everybody's playing. I, I will go back to Nier, but I've been a victim of being a Bayonetta main. So as being a Bayonetta main, you get attacked for playing Bayonetta. So therefore, that's all I got to say. You guys are golden, and that is Raw. Squala, peace, and I'm out.